Hey everybody, Anthony Spaulding here with the New Jersey Herald and we're going to be taking a look at Boys Cross Country for today and we're going to be looking at the Pope John Boys Squad which is coming off a fourth place finish at non-public A and is looking to coming uh, to getting back into the state's elite teams um, like Christian Brothers, Don Bosco and Red Bank Catholic, which they finished behind respectively last year. I think we keep getting against uh, CBA or Red Catholic any day of the week. I mean, we're just as talented as them. Last season, the Lions went 6-1 and one in the NJAC American Division and took third at the 101 and Sussex Championships to go with their fourth at non-public A. However, they were frustrated with the fourth and non-public A because it left them one spot shy of qualifying for the meet of champions. I really would have liked to, you know, gone to MOCs, the fourth position at uh, groups, really. And I wasn't really happy with that. So I think that kind of motivated us uh, this summer and so far this season. We really want to, that's like our main goal. Leading the charge is Lacey and Bertolini, who placed 25th and 29th respectively at non-public A. In addition, the Lions have juniors Joe Galeca, Bobby Galante, Chris Hatler, and Peter Spinks to provide solid running. However, the Lions need to put the time in to beat schools like Christian Brothers and Don Bosco, which have won a combined 27 non-public A titles. Red Bank, which has three non-public B titles to its name, has placed in the top five at non-public A in three of the last five years. We know full well we just got to work harder. I mean, you can't sugarcoat it anymore. You just kind of have to you know, try to work a little bit harder, whatever that may be, you know, making your runs a little bit faster pace, doing a little bit more work, a few more miles. Um, basically, you really do. You have to increase your workload. While talk may seem cheap to schools like Christian Brothers, Don Bosco, and Red Bank, the Lions believe they can back up their words. Well, I know our team is looking great this year, and I'm not scared of them. For more information on the Lions or any other boys cross-country team in the area, go to www.njherald.com and check out the Varsity Central Sports blog or pick up the Monday edition of the New Jersey Herald. For the New Jersey Herald, I'm Anthony Spaulding.